Hello class, this is a video tutorial on shares and dividends. A share or stock is part ownership of a company. It is possible to buy or sell shares on the Australian Stock Exchange, the ASX, for the listed price of the share, plus a brokerage fee. We'll go through a quick example by using this table here that shows a few stock codes and the price per share. So a broker charges a $30 brokerage fee for any shares bought or sold. Calculate the total amount paid for buying 500 shares of JB Hi-Fi shares, JBH, and 1,200 shares in Telstra. So, it's, so for this one, since it's a flat fee of $30, it's rather straightforward to figure out how much you're paying for this. So it'll be 500 shares times the cost here per share, which is $32 and eight cents. So this is the cost for buying the shares. And on top of this, we need to then add on $30. So simple calculation here. So 500 times $32 and eight cents plus the $30 fee. So it costs $16,070 in order to buy 500 shares of JB Hi-Fi plus this $30 brokerage fee. Okay, so let's keep going here. 1,200 shares in Telstra. Well, rather straightforward. That'll be 1,200 times, Telstra here is TLS. That's $3.07. And then on top of this, we need to add on that th that thirty dollars. So thousand two hundred times three dollars and seven cents plus thirty dollars. It'll cost three thousand seven hundred and fourteen dollars to buy this many shares in Telstra. Now, in this next set of examples, it's um you'll see it's rather straightforward. But this time, it's a person selling the share. So notice how in this one, we are adding on to the cost of buying a share. So when you buy shares, I want you to note that these are a cost. But now when we're selling shares, this is considered as an income and you're earning money. But because you're paying a fee, you're actually going to be subtracting this fee. I'll demonstrate to you here. So first let's find the price of 100 shares of ZipPay. That's $100 times ZipPay, $2.25. That's $2.25. But then from here we need to minus half a percent, so 0 0.005. That, that would be half a percent times the value of the transaction. I'll do this in a few steps just to show you. So this will just be $225. So if a person were to sell 100 shares of ZipPay, they would get $225. But now the fee, it's 0.5% times whatever it is that you would have earned. So 225, that will be 0 0.005 times 225. That gives us a dollar and 12 cents or 1.125. Now this is a fee. Well, because this is an income, but we have to pay this fee to this broker, the income or the amount earned is actually just 225 minus a dollar and 13 cents. But let's do 1.125. That will give us 223.8 something. Let me just use a calculator for this. Two, two, five, minus 1.125. Let's take a look at how much this is. 
223 and 0.875. So 223.88. So this person lost about a dollar and 13 cents in fees. Okay, so let's do another example. $250, oh sorry, 250 shares in Afterpay. So 250 times Afterpay here is APT. That is $20. Well, that's going to be $5,000, I believe. Let's just do this here. 250 times 20, it's $5,000. Now, just to really put into perspective, if a person actually had sold this many shares, they would be earning $5,000. However, once again, we have to account for this brokerage fee, which is half a percent, so 0.5% times $5,000. Let's do that, 0 0.005 times 5,000. So this person would have to pay a $25 fee. And so this person's final income is going to be um, 5,000 minus $25, which gives us $4,975. Okay, so brokerage fees can be a flat rate of let's say $30 here or it might be a percentage on the transaction cost. Okay, so I hope that's given you a rather simple insight into how to buy or sell shares. Obviously in the real world, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but the mathematical calculations are as simple as you see it here. Hope to see you in the next video where we cover dividends um, and dividend yields. Hope to see you then, best of luck.